Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today we'll be reviewing another throwback figure. And this is a throwback from Transformers. Michael Bay's first Transformers movie, and this is Megatron from the first movie in his Cybertronian jet mode. But now we're going to look at the figure itself. It does slide very well on the table. I think it might have wheels at the bottom. Yeah, it's got wheels at the bottom so you can go rolling around the table. Ain't that cool? For an old school Michael Bay figure. He had the wings like this and it looks like he can fly. Whoosh. And that's all there is to say for the main vehicle mode. Let's get down to the vehicle mode comparison. With another variant of Megatron's modes. This is the Cybertronian tank mode compared to this one. I got this from Bumblebee movie as you know. But yeah, that's why I compared it to this one, because they're both part of Megatron's transformation. The Cybertronian tank and the alien jet fighter. But now we're going to get down to transforming it. And this is a pretty cool figure, so let's get down to transformation. Fold the wings up. Disconnect the feet from these pegs, which there are two pegs right here. Even on the feet. Disconnect the arm. Like so. And fold that in. And fold that up. And then fold his backpack back. Straighten him out, his feet. And there we got the leader of the Decepticons, Megatron. And he is looking pretty, pretty mean looking. Let's take a look at those eyes. Oh, those are really good light piping for an old school figure. He's got some really good light piping on him and a really good body sculpt. I love this old school figure, and I'm so glad I finally have me a Michael Bay vintage Megatron. Because, man, he was he was bad in the movie, and I was like, man, this guy is cool. I wish I ha had the money to get a figure of this guy in his robot mode and jet mode. But now I finally have him for my personal collection. But now we're going to get down to comparison. Because what's a review without comparisons, people? Because comparisons are very important. Here he is next to another leader class style figure. This is the Michael Bay Optimus Prime. Why wouldn't I show that off? This one does not make noise. This one does. But there is another one where he makes noise with the Michael Bay Megatron. But now, for comparison, here he is next to his Revenge of the Fallen servant, Soundwave. And that's one comparison with another Decepticon. Now with another comparison of himself, we're going to compare him with the Energonic Niter Megatron from Bumblebee Movie. Or Michael Bay's Tank Mode Megatron, as the saying goes. I don't have intention sees to own the Cybertronian Tank Mode Megatron, because I've heard some bad things about it. It's not as good looking as I would like it to be. But here he is next to the Energonic Niter Megatron. 
This guy is bigger and better than this one. This one's okay, but this one's the better looking Megatron so far. And of course, what comparison would be complete without one final Megatron comparison with the last night evolution of Megatron? Yep, I had to do that comparison because he's Megatron. Why wouldn't I compare him to one of the best-looking Megatrons, the Last Night movie Megatron? Because, man, he is awesome with that flame flamethrower fusion cannon thing. You're probably wondering, where did I get this Megatron? If you saw my previous video, when I first got this, I got this from Still City Con. I got him for 20 bucks. Is he worth adding to your collection? I'd say yes. He is a good-looking Megatron. He's got a lot of posability in his arms. He's got ratchets. No bend at the knee, though. Oh, wait, he does have bend at the knee. He's got a ratcheted knee, which makes him the ideal Megatron to have in your collection because of the ratchets. And there's so much to love about this guy, and I just downright enjoy this figure. So I'd say if you're a Michael Bay fan and you like this particular Megatron, pick him up. You won't regret it. And he is a good-looking figure for the price I paid for him. And he is going to go straight in my Transformers collection. Well, that's all there is to say for this review, and this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.